Rotational kinetic energy. If an object has linear motion, it has kinetic energy half mass times speed squared. If an object has rotational motion, it has kinetic energy half i omega squared, where i is the moment of inertia and omega the angular velocity. If an object has linear and rotational motion, it has kinetic energy half mv squared plus half i omega squared. So if an object rolls down a slope, the gravitational potential energy will become linear and rotational kinetic energy, assuming no losses as heat and sound of course. Here's an example. A 5 kilogram bowling ball rolls down a slope losing 0.5 meters of height. The ball has a moment of inertia of 0 0.023 kilogram meters squared. If it is rolling at 2.65 meters per second, calculate its angular velocity. Well, for this, we can use the idea that the gravitational potential energy lost will have become linear kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. We can rearrange for omega and then adding the values gives an angular velocity of 24.6 radians per second. Now calculate the radius of the ball. Well for this we can use omega is equal to v over r so the radius r is equal to the linear speed v over the angular velocity omega. Putting in the values gives a radius of 0.108 meters or 10.8 centimetres.